Look at my new plushie. Isn't she amazing? And yes, it's a Squishmallow. My first ever one. I'm not, I don't really care too much about Squishmallows, but like, when I walked into the store and I saw this, I had to get it. My bed's a mess, but why clean up? Why not show you my organic setting? Anyways, I'm kind of tired, but that won't stop me from recording this video. Anyways, today's video is an AliExpress Let's begin. So the first thing I want to show you guys is this corset here. I think it's upside down. It's not the full one that goes over the chest, you know, the one that's like, yeah. I wanted to get this one because I was tired of the one that kept going up here. I still wear it. I literally wore it like three days ago. I would say though, like once again, corsets on me are pretty weird. I can always go for an extra small, but extra smalls don't seem to exist in corsets. The next thing I want to show you is this shirt, which I love. I wish I could have gotten it in this size as well as a different size because like, Look at it. It's just, I don't exactly know what it says. Oh, it says embryo me. But I, I just love the graphic. Love the like trippiness of it. How it's like a photo, but still in motion. And it's basically a shirt dress on me. But I wore this shirt to this next item, which is this maxi skirt here. And it goes so well and I love it. And I'm gonna wear this outfit a million times. It's like, it's kind of like tight. I mean, it's not tight. Warm fitting up until, you know, like the bottom. This next item is this little skirt here, which I've seen this skirt like so many different stores. The material, I know this is probably a dupe of some like trip skirt so I know that the material was originally supposed to be like a denim type material but this isn't it's like a lot thinner but it's still pretty cute and I got a medium and it fit well of course it's mini and it comes with these giant uh Yes, got a medium. I really wanted to get like the original skirt, but could not find it anywhere besides on like AliExpress and like Shein, like all those places like that. Um, okay, so this next item I mainly got for like my job, but I also got it because it reminds me of those Unif pants, but I just didn't want to pay for those Unif pants. Those pinstripe pants, but there's a million pinstripe pants all over the place. It's just, I wanted to have like a similar fit to those pants specifically. And it kind of does. I wish these were like a bit longer on my legs. It's not like they're short, like, high waters but like you know i'm used to pants dragging i think that's what it is they are actually a decent quality they're kind of just like any go to kohl's find some pinstripe pants next thing so these shorts here they look pretty funny <laughs> when they're not on somebody it looks like a freaking diaper but this is like a skirt but with bloomers attached to it this was the thing that i was most excited for because i've been looking for a pair of bloomers that i wear as just the bloomers themselves without feeling like i'm wearing underwear and i haven't found it and this is like the closest I've come to like something similar to that I guess but I, I love these I can't wait to style them and wear them out with some chunky boots this next dress I was also excited for but this little dress here the reviews everybody was saying it's an amazing dress but you just need to size up I think I had to get an extra large either an extra large or an extra extra large I don't remember but don't stick with the small unless you're a child <laughs> and I you know about my petticoat situation I tried to put my petticoat under it it just doesn't look right and I don't know because I have these two amazing fluffy petticoat that just just every time i put them on with a skirt or, or a dress they just don't go and i don't know what to do because i don't want to get rid of the petticoat these next pants were like me trying to find something different and unique from what i usually wear so i don't really know if i'm going to get too much of a wear out of these pants but there are these ones which i've seen these all over the place as well don't really know where they're originally from they're actually pretty good quality and kind of thick i mean they're a little bit see-through the material is pretty thick thicker than i thought they would have been i don't know when i'm ever gonna wear these but i'm trying to branch out i don't know i don't know how i feel about they're just something very different you know you gotta experiment this next item which is a uh, little floofy what do you call this i guess a floofy headband those things that like your grandmother probably wore but yeah i really wanted one of these because i saw some pinterest photo i was inspired by and i think she was wearing one of these and she had the fluffy little warmers as well the only thing that's the problem is the fact that do y'all see that? Oh my gosh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. And it's just flying everywhere. And when I put it on my head, the whole entire side of my head was covered in white stuff. So I don't know if I'm ever going to wear this, which would be a waste of money. But I just wasn't expecting that this stuff would be flying everywhere. I will only probably wear this when my hair is out. The next top is the matching top, which I don't know why I didn't show this after I showed the pants. But this is the matching top to the pants. Once again, branching out. And I actually like this top, but once again, I don't really know when I'm going to wear it. Maybe when I go on vacation. I'm I mean, it's still a cute top, but it's like something that if you knew me, you'd be like, what? You bought that? Yeah, I don't, I, yeah, I did. Yeah. 
This next item is a maxi black skirt. Very shiny. I didn't expect it to be this shiny, but I don't really care. Um, it definitely needs to be like ironed or steamed or something because the wrinkles are throwing me off. And I also kind of got this for work just because once again, we can't wear mini skirts at work. This, is this dirty? But anyways, this is like a little vest. The only thing is like uh, too big. I couldn't go any smaller than this. You know, it's a little cropped vest. Reminds me of like maybe 2010, you know, 2010 to like 20, my brain is going 13. I don't know. I remember vests were a thing and now they're a thing again. This next shirt, it's this shirt. I really know. I was looking for like a shirt that had a graphic on it, but like not too crazy, you know? And it also reminds me of those Y2K. <laughs> <laughs> but like y2k shirt yeah um but the only thing is that it's a lot bigger than i thought it was gonna be and i think it was just like one size it's like a chill i say ch when and when i say chill i mean like if you're just going for a looser fit long sleeve but not to the point where you're like drowning in it i'm saying that but i even have yet to try it the next item which i also have yet to try on but it seems like it would fit anyways and be the fit that i am hoping for is this here it reminds me of like shirts that i wore back in middle school and i don't even want to think about that but at the same time i liked it too much to not get it because like something about these little holes in between just attracted me and then also the overlocking stitching i think that's another thing that attracted me to it you may not be able to see it but there's overlocking stitching so this next item are these like distressed little arm um, warmer things like i just tried them but, like they're these like distressed arm um, warmer um but yeah i really like these and i saw these all over the place once again the next item are these goggles here which i've seen like a few people that i follow on instagram somebody I follow has goggles like this and i kind of want to get like the other type too that are the ones that you wear on the plane these are like steampunk goggles and i want to get the ones that like a pilot would wear um this next top which is like very confusing to look at because where are the strings the strings are not with me this is like that top like the top that goes like this and it has like strings to tighten it and i really wanted this top for a really long time and i finally caved and bought it and i don't regret it okay so these next pants were also like an experimental thing because yeah they look like black pants but then look at that they do a little scrunchy scrunchy thing at the bottom and they also have a hole where i believe the thigh is kind of different i think they're pretty cute but i still don't really know how many wears i'm gonna get out of this just because they're kind of different you know you never know when you're gonna wear something you know I also do like that thing where like these strings are supposed to go over your hips okay so the last Last clothing item from this haul is this shirt here which has the same graphic as that black long sleeve that had the gray stuff going on with it I think this is the same graphic I got this shirt it's a little see-through in the back but it's actually a pretty decent shirt and it's pretty cool it just reminds me of like those um, green printed shirts but yeah it reminds me of that and I actually pretty I actually like the shirt um, I wore it though so it's dirty you know I kind of wish they had one that was maybe like a v-neck or a u-neck but it doesn't matter because it's still cute at the end of the day okay so the next thing are these shoes right here which is also another unif dupe i don't know what it is with me and unif dupes sometimes it's on purpose sometimes it's not these were on purpose because i did want those sh unif shoes but I, like i said i didn't want to pay for the unif prices and that's like I, I i don't have the money for that which a lot of y'all think i'm like this crazy rich person no I'm, I'm like i'm not too much of a broke college student right now because i just got a job and so i'm saving up my check also it's just called like having a job and finding hustles on the side to make money if you don't have a job and saving up but anyways yeah um but yeah i think they're pretty cute and i can't wait to wear them like i don't know what i'm gonna wear them with but the last thing to round up this haul because we are running out of space on the camera now <laughs> is this fluffy bag which is basically a unif dupe but a lot of people make these bags now it's just like they're very known to be a unif bag but there's so many brands and so many smaller shops and stuff that sell fluffy bags and they're actually very easy to make you know if you have a sewing machine because if you just hand sewing then it's a little harder and i really wanted a fluffy bag myself so i got one and i'm very happy with this bag i've been using it ever since it arrived and i kind of want to get this bag but in a different color now and it's good quality it's not like it's very pretty like in, like very good quality like but yeah i believe that is it i think now i can finally put this stuff away in my closet <laughs> but yeah that was everything thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if I seem like 
not as energized i know this is a long one but if you made it here thank you for watching maybe like maybe subscribe if you want check out my instagram depop um i'm still selling bunny hoods and headbands yeah okay thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video peace out